Good afternoon. You're no doubt wondering if this spring weather will last. Well, there should be any dramatic changes over the next week, at least for England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Scotland, though, will see a cold snap. There's a brief look at the week's temperatures and winds. As I say, windy on, in uh, Scotland from Tuesday and getting cold on Thursday, though, because there'll be a frost earlier. And then it's getting quite breezy through Northern Ireland and Northern England from Wednesday onwards, and the frost on Thursday night will extend down further south. So for most of the time during the day, it'll still be warm and the winds will be light. That's the picture at the moment. We're drawing in southwesterly winds around the edge of this high pressure, which is keeping most of the frontal system at bay. But it's not an entirely a blue sky scene, as you've seen if you look out the side of the window. Quite a few clouds around. If you zoom in on the British Isles, most of the west and the north is quite cloudy. There are some breaks, but it's nothing like as sunny as yesterday. That's the picture this afternoon, mostly dry, dull in this northwestern corner, and a very small chance of a shower down in the southeast. Another very warm day. Somebody, I'm sure, is going to see 18 degrees. Tonight, no problems, 4 to 6 in the north, 6 to 8 further south. Now, on the whole, it'll be dry, but there is this band of rain pushing its way into western Northern Ireland and the western part of Scotland. For the rest of us, some breaks in the cloud could see some mist forming. The temperatures, as I said, nothing to worry about. Then we start on Monday, much the same as we started today, but this frontal system is going to try and push its way in, roughly through northwestern Scotland and northwestern Northern Ireland in the morning, pushing down through to Aberdeen, down to Dublin by the afternoon. A little bit um, cooler behind, at least fresher with brighter weather, and staying warm and quite fine ahead of it. Now for Tuesday, again, we've got the high pressure in the south, but we're seeing the winds coming from the west now. We're bringing tram lines in, we're bringing runners through Northern Ireland and Scotland, so there will be some change in the weather up here. Two belts of rain then on Tuesday, that weakened front moving down through England and Wales, most of the rain dying out on it, and then more rain moving into Northern Ireland and Scotland after a rather cold start. In between, of course, it'll be bright, and in so many places, still reasonably warm. Quite a windy day on Wednesday, right the way down, probably to the north Midlands, but the front's staying to the north of Scotland. A very dull day, though, especially in the western side of the country, even down towards Cumbria. Down the east, it'll be bright. To the south, it should be fairly bright as well. On Thursday, this cold front does what it says. It does introduce colder air, polar maritime air, if you want to be technical about it, so there will be a fresher feel and some showers behind it. There's the band of rain, a fairly weakening affair. It's dying as it moves across the country, so we lose the warm air from the southeast during the day. So colder behind, but quite bright. But in Scotland, this is the really cold turn temporarily, some showers of snow, certainly over the high ground. A very strong wind, so quite a wind chill. That wind is still there on Friday. Lines tight together, but this is a warm front, so it does introduce a slight warming to the whole atmosphere. Consequently, it'll become rather dull on the western coast, in fact, quite a long way across Scotland, brighter further east, brighter further south. 